procurator. We have found that this man, Jesus of Nazareth, distorts our people's views on the relationship between God and the state. Furthermore, he perverts the very heart of our religion. I'm not concerned with people who break your religious laws. My function as governor here is to keep the peace and administer Roman justice. We know that, procurator. But this man also threatens the established order. If he were not a criminal, we would not have brought him to you. He calls himself the Christ, which means the anointed one. <laughs> Thank you. I too know some Greek. Well, what else has he done? Has he spoken against the emperor? Has he spoken against Rome? Well, procurator, not directly, no, but... Not directly, then he's your problem. You'll have to judge him according to your law. Procurator, for us, this man, Jesus, is a blasphemer. If we were a self-governing nation, we would have the right to exact punishment, which under the law of Moses is laid down for blasphemy. He made a triumphal entry into Jerusalem, calling himself the King of the Jews. A claim which we totally reject. King of the Jews. Well, whatever else he may have done, such a claim is treason. True, true. All right, all right. I'll talk to him. <laughs> Your Jesus. Not ours. Then whose? Whose? Bring him in! Is this the man you think so dangerous? This? The man that aspires to be a king. Come. Come, come, come. Now. The leaders of the Sanhedrin accuse you of preaching perverted doctrine. They also say you call yourself the king of the Jews. Well, are you king of the Jews? If my kingdom were of this world, my followers would have fought to prevent me from being captured. Oh, you speak of a kingdom. Therefore, you must be a king. Are you a king? I am. I was born for one purpose. To bear witness to the truth. All who can accept the truth hear my voice. And what? is the truth. <laughs> no, this man's no criminal. He's a dreamer. Take him away, take him away. Have him flogged as a token of Roman justice. That should wake him up. Right, sir. Procurator. We, <coughs> the leaders of the Sanhedrin, have always had the same aim as you. The peaceful administration of our country for the good of our people. And for many oh, years... Please, now, please, please, please. Don't talk to me about the people. As long as they obey 
you care as much about your children of Israel as we do the mob in Rome. Mm. No, Sarah, let us speak directly. Why does the Sanhedrin consider this man so dangerous that they send you yourself here to make sure that he's condemned? Perhaps for the same reasons as you, Procurator, if you knew him as well as we do, would also find him dangerous. back up. You need your scepter. Majesty! A perfect fit, your Where's majesty! Your throne, eh? Oh, now he's the king! Tiberius will be getting worried! you got to say for yourself now. Speak!
Achilles. Isn't there an ancient custom honoring Passover where the procurator can release a prisoner sentenced to death as an act of mercy? Yes, that custom still exists. And we have two prisoners? Barabbas? And Jesus. So let the people decide. I've made my decision. The people will decide. Take him away. Right, take this one away. Get down to the prison now and bring Barabbas. has fought for you. Don't betray him. Shout for Barabbas. No, you must save Jesus. He's a righteous man. When did they arrest him? Late last night. In the garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane? That's near where I live. We must be prepared. Barabbas must be free at all cost. Now look, we put our men all over. Do you understand? At a given time, we could understand what they wanted. Leave that to them. As a sign of his magnanimity and his benevolence, our divine emperor has decided that the custom of releasing one prisoner sentenced to death in honor of your Passover shall continue. We have two prisoners. One, Jesus of Nazareth, accused of treason by proclaiming himself King of the Jews. Oh, you work a miracle now, Jesus! <laughs> oh, Jesus Anyone shouting for that false prophet had better watch out. Look at him, the King of the Jews. What's happened to him? Or oh, Barabbas, accused of sedition and murdering a Roman auxiliary. Give him the freedom! That's the man they call the Son of God! shall be released to you. Jesus of Nazareth! We cannot let this happen. We must do something! Guilty of proclaiming himself King of the Jews! No, beware the crowd! Or... Barabbas! Release Jesus! He is the true prophet! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
go. We can't let Barabbas get away. Yes. Soldiers won't claim that. The pilot, you're not going to free Barabbas. An assassin, an enemy of Rome. I wonder who is the real enemy. To be crucified.
Oh, so is it the oldest man his team? Take out that sign! Get out of the way! Get out, Jimmy! You have no right to do it! Now, all of you, stay back! Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. If you're what you say you are, if you're the Messiah, why don't you save yourself? <laughs> I'm not. Leave him alone! Don't you fear God, even when you are dying? We deserve to die, for we are receiving the just punishment for our crimes. But this man has done nothing wrong. Jesus. Remember me. When you come into your kingdom, today, you will be with me in paradise. his mother. Well, how can you prove it? Hey. She is his mother. Go, dear. And who are you? Please. I'm one of the family. Is that right? Yes. He is one of the family. Good. The Romans won't let you get close.
yapıyorsun bana? He saved others. Why can't he save himself now? Elijah. No, he's not calling Elijah. He's quoting the scriptures. Even now, nailed to the cross, he quotes the scriptures. Even now. He was despised and rejected of men, man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearer is done. He hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, spitted of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was abused for our iniquities. And through his wounds, we are healed.
Kuru. been provided by a prominent member of your faith who doesn't wish his name to be revealed. Pontius Pilate gave permission before he went back to Caesarea. Yes, yes, yes. But you don't understand why. Why should you? It is of vital importance to us to know where this tomb is. With all due respect, why is it of such importance? The man is dead. Well, since you ask, there have been rumors of this Jesus arising from the dead. Hmm. You believe this? Huh. But it may prevail upon the superstitious. His followers could easily remove the body secretly, and then they can talk of having witnessed the resurrection. Hmm. Therefore, can the tomb be guarded? No, there's nothing to stop you guarding it. No, there isn't, but it must be carried out by you Romans. Why? Well, if we use our own temple guards, his disciples could say that he truly rose, but that his enemies denied it. What sort of person are you, if I may ask? His death is not enough for you. I think your procurator, if he were here, would agree with me when I say this Jesus could be much more dangerous now that he's dead. Therefore, I should be grateful if something could be arranged. Very well, then. A Roman guard will be posted. Hey! 
Stop! Who are you? Where are you going? We are the family of Jesus of Nazareth, who lies here. What do you want? To enter the tomb. Why? To anoint the body. To bring fresh linen, herbs, spices. It is our custom. Why didn't you do that when you brought him here? The Sabbath began. We could not buy them. What do you think? Now, there are only three women. Let them go. I suppose it'll be all right then. You'll need an army to move that stone. All right then. Let's go together. But we'll need some help. Hey, Lentulus, wake up! Come with us! Marcus, you watch the bridge. I think we should call those priests too. Are they still around? Where are you going? Why do you seek the living among the dead? Jesus is not there. Where by Jupiter yes, and Hercules yes, Mars. Yes, you've been awake all night and haven't moved from the spot. That's right. You were given strict orders. Nobody's been near that tomb. And those Jewish priests, or whatever they are, were with us all the time. Well then, who moved the stone? Who is it? Me, Philip. Did anyone follow you? No. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Are oh, they still looking for us? On every corner, one sees temple guards and Roman soldiers. This place isn't safe anymore. We must go somewhere else. But where can we go? I wish we could go to Galilee. <sighs> Peter. Peter. Tell us. What should we do? We must do what the Master would have wanted. The master's dead, Peter. I thought you said you weren't followed. I wasn't. Mary. Peter. All of you. I have seen him. Seen who? Seen him? Yes. He is risen. I saw him. I saw him. This morning, we went to the tomb, and near the tomb was a man and a young boy. And the man said to me, Why do you look for the living among the dead? Jesus is not here. So we went to the tomb and we saw the stone was upturned. The grave. The tomb was open. We looked for him. He was not there. No. 
You mean the master's body wasn't there? Has it been stolen? No, no, no. Let me finish. When we were leaving the cemetery, I saw another man. He saw how distraught we were. He said, woman, why do you weep? And then he said my name. Mary. And it was then that I saw. It was Jesus. I fell to my knees and I reached for him. Touch me not. For I have not yet ascended to my father, he said. But go to my brothers and tell them. believe me. You don't believe me. I tell you, I saw him. It was our Lord. Mary, Mary. John. Oh, John. You don't believe me. You. Mary. You're tired. Please, please go. I saw him, John. I saw him. Women's fantasies. Fantasies? Was his death a fantasy? I saw him die. I was there and I wept at his feet. Why should he not then appear to me? He is risen. He told me to tell you. And I have done so. You wouldn't believe her. Even when the master raised Jairus' daughter, you didn't believe it. What do you mean? You believe her story. What? Do any of you believe it? Do you, Andrew? Do you, James? And you, Matthew? You, Peter, yes. How can you? Because he said so. Because he wanted it to be so. He wanted everything to happen. Him. You denied him three times! Yes! I denied him because I was a coward. We are all cowards. We accused Judas of being a traitor, but we all betrayed him. We all abandoned him. At least our brothers in the Sanhedrin who condemned him didn't know him. The Romans! They did not know him. But we... We ate with him. We lived with him. We knew he was the Christ! And still we betrayed him! 
brothers, don't you? Can't you see? You ask me if I believe he's risen. Yes, I do. For I know in my heart he will not abandon us. I know in my heart he has forgiven me. what I feared. His disciples must have come in the night, removed the stone and taken away the body. Possible. I had guards here as you requested. And your priests were here too. suffer and on the third day will rise again from the dead to enter his glory you are my witnesses to this now my father in heaven is reconciled to the world and as he sent me Receive the Holy Spirit. Go like lambs among wolves. Make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teach them the gospel and the commandments I gave you. Now, I am leaving the world again and going to the Father. O oh Lord, stay with us. For the night is falling and the day is almost over. Be afraid. I am with you every day. <laughs> 